Hello Alert Program friends, fans, and colleagues. We're here today to continue the conversation about fidgets. And we know that fidgets are in the touch category. And of course, the touch category has the potential to support self-regulation, which is how Alert One feels. So most of us know about commercial fidgets like fidget spinners or squeeze balls or relaxable balls or cush balls, all of those ilk. And here, I'm here to say today that rocks could be one of nature's ultimate no-cost fidgets. Now, the tricky thing about fidgeting is that, and what we always want to come back to in the alert program is the question, is it working? And we want to know that that's going to apply to our fidgets and our rocks. So it's important to get the right fidgets in the right hands. And if you use fidgeting to help yourself stay alert at work, you may be like me. Maybe you use a worry stone or something in your pocket and it helps you stay alert and focused on your work. And then that's a right match for you. Now I'm a fidgeter and I very often have a rock in my pocket and I fidget with my rock when I'm thinking things through or if I have to wait, which I personally consider wait a four letter word uh, <laughs> or if I dip into a low state of alertness in my day. So sometimes, and this is when I really know it's a right match, I don't even know I'm doing it. I just put my hand in my pocket and I fidget with my rock and I just get to a right, a just right state that helps me to concentrate or stay focused on whatever it is that I've been doing. So I've been using a rock to help me stay just right for talking today here and I'll share with you a little bit of the collection of my faves to kind of give you a sampling so that you can think about yours. Now, I got a lot of rocks in my pocket today. Oh, there goes one. That was a very <laughs> shiny one with a fantastically philosophical word on it. You don't really have to go that commercial. I have just a nice one like this, a little piece of quartz that's fun. I have a super duper polished rock that's heart shaped. Ooh. It feels very nice and smooth, very different than the quartz one. I got your garden variety rock like I've collected up here. We got, and I know this is popular right now, rocks that you paint and put pretty things on. They feel really different too, plus the color and the visual of it. And so, uh, and then this one is a very fancy polished rock that has a very cool character in it. So um, obviously you're gonna find the ones that are right uh, for you. So I encourage you to get your very own collection, weight yourself down in your pocket, and once you know what works for you, then you'll be able to better observe those that you live with or work with to support their self-regulation. And we always want to keep coming back to the question when you observe yourself or observe others is, is it working? Because it's important to get the right fidgets in the right hands. And hands that are going to toss a fidget, uh, then obviously a rock is not the right match for those hands and we know that it's not working. In fact, if a fidget is probably not your go-to category if you have hands that are going to throw something. So remember that in the LERP program we talk about five categories, mouth, move, touch, look, and listen. So uh, when you have someone that's a thrower or you can't trust the fidgety part of it, then you certainly want to go to another category like heavy work in the, in the move category where you have those hands doing other things, pushing, pulling, tugging, towing, moving, heavy objects. Because rocks are the fidgets or the fidgets for the fidgeters who can handle it. <laughs> all right, so even though the alert program emphasizes heavy work and as much as I am all about heavy work and fidgeting, this rock here is a bit too big to put in my pocket. But get your rock, find a match, and rock on, fidgeters. <laughs>